Hi, in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at MPV and audio equalizers. Now if you come to the MPV manual and you search for equalizer, the only matches you actually get are for brightness and saturation. But there is actually an audio equalizer that you can apply to videos. And this is sort of slightly hidden. And I came across this looking through this GitHub comment. And basically what you can do is use FFmpeg filters as an audio filter in MPV because MPV uses FFmpeg in the back end. And there's several ways you can do this. If I just scroll to the top up here, you can actually specify a filter on the command line with the dash AF option. Or you can put it in your um mpv.config file and just get back to this section uh, which will apply globally or you can add it to specific profiles or the other option which we're going to be looking at today is mpv has two configuration files mpv.conf um, which is for a lot of the settings for the audio and video sort of settings you know like youtube dl hooks and things like that and then you have the input.conf and that's basically for keyboard controls now in this file what you can actually do is put toggles to toggle audio filters on and off so that when you're playing a video in mpv you can hit a hotkey and actually apply a equalizer to that video so i was having a look at this comment um, by victoria stewart here and she doesn't i had a look on her repositories but i couldn't actually see a repository for her mpv config but these are the notes that she made and what she's done is actually gone through this and actually plotted all this out on a graph um, because what this relies on is mp um ffmpeg filters which are quite difficult to get your head around um you have a Sort of 18 band equalizer that you can use but you've got to use sort of numbers to put it in so what she's done is actually plotted out a graph with all this stuff here and come up for some come up with some settings that you can actually add to your input.conf file and that's what i've done i've taken some of her um, settings and i've added them to my uh, mpv.input.conf here as you can see First of all, I've got key bindings, um, Vim key bindings, so I can seek back and forth um, subtitles. But these are the actual audio filters. So first of all, what we've got is these are activated when you press the function keys like F1, F2, F3, etc. And the first one actually shows the keyboard shortcuts that you can use and which audio filter they will apply to the video. So if you press F1, what it's going to actually do in MPV, it's going to use the on-screen display to actually print out this message showing you the uh, filters that you can apply. There's Gradington T there. So what we got is, first of all, this show text option, which will show the, the filters. So we've got loud norm, um, dire norm, low bass, low treble, and high pass. So these are all FFmpeg audio filters and they say you can actually toggle these on and off as you're playing the video now this is really useful for um things where the videos um the audio is too quiet in the video or um there's too much bass uh you know you get a lot of the old videos from youtube um because you can play youtube videos with mpv that's got like a lot of crackle or high-end noise and you could use this function to actually create keyboard shortcut that will activate a filter that will cancel that noise out for example so we've got loud norm dire norm lowered bass lower treble high pass uh, which is one i added so if i just come back across here this is the ffmpeg audio filters section so what you can do is actually create keyboard shortcuts that will allow you to use these filters uh, in MPV. The one caveat I have come across is that you can't chain multiple filters together. So for example, you can't apply a low pass and a high pass 
filter in um, to to the video, you you can only apply one filter at a time. So what I'm going to do now is come across to the terminal, and what I've got is a copy of Night of the Living Dead, which is in the public domain. There's no copyright issues there. And I'm going to use this as an example um, to actually show you how this works and the different filters and how, how they'll um, sound on the video. So what I'm going to do first of all is come across to the, the, the video and pause it and I'm going to press F1 and what you'll see here is this little um, message pops up for um, a brief second and you can adjust the um, the amount of time it's actually shown on screen. So if I press F1 you'll see here this is displaying the um, loud norm, dynorm, loud bass, low treble, high pass that I can use. So these are the filters that I can use. So what I'll do is play some of the audio so you can see how it sounds normally and then go through and apply some of the different filters. So what I'll do is I'll find a bit um, with speech because um, that's easier to actually hear the differences in the audio. So, so what I'm going to do now is um, just play a bit of the audio so you can see how it sounds normally and then go through the filters um, and you can see how it affects the audio. So I'm just going to play a couple of seconds, well, a short chunk of this and then go back and apply the different filters. They ought to make the day the time changes, the first day of summer. What? Well, it's 8 o'clock and it's still light. A lot of good the extra daylight does us. So what I'm going to do now is um, apply the loud norm. They ought to make the day the time changes, the first day of summer. What? Well, it's 8 o'clock and it's still light. A lot of good the extra daylight does us. No, we've still got a three-hour drive back. We're not going to be home until after midnight. Well, if it really bugged you, Johnny, you wouldn't do it. <laughs> you think I want to blow Sunday on a scene like... So what you can see um, there is that's the loud norm filter. And what that does is that um, sets the audio level so it's kind of normalized. You have different standards for audio levels. Um, and you can basically... If something's really la overly loud or um, much too quiet, what it will actually do is um, try and normalize it to um, a level where it's all audible. So I'll go through the next filter. You know, I figure we're either going to have to move Mother out here or move the grave into Pittsburgh. She can't make a trip like this. Oh, no, that she can't. Is there any of that candy left? No. Look at this thing. We still remember. I don't. You know, I don't even... So that's the dire um, norm, um, and I'll go through these filters um, and show you the um, corresponding bit in the FFmpeg documentation. So now, um, if I just switch back um, to here and I can see what's actually going on. Um, so what I'm going to do is do the lowered bass and then the lowered treble and then the high pass. So this is the lowered bass. No, this is normal. Johnny, it takes you five minutes. Yeah, five minutes to put the wreath on the grave and six hours to drive back and forth. Mm -hmm. Mother wants to remember, so we trot 200 miles into the country and she stays at home. So that was the um, lowered bass, and that's using what's called the Super Equalizer FFmpeg filter, which is basically, I think it's maybe something like an 18-band equalizer. And what you can do is actually... Um, pick certain frequencies and you know lower the decibels or um, you know increase them to um, alter that frequency. So I'll do that again. The lowered bass. So you can see it'll come out the bass and make the all and the treble a lot <coughs> more noticeable, which is maybe good for um, uh, something that's recorded. You know with a lot of low bass and you can't hear the um, the people speaking. So this is it normally, then I'll activate the lowered bass. Yeah, we're here, John, all right? Test. We're back on. Oh. Uh, ladies and hey, gentlemen, 
We're coming back on the air after an interruption due to. So you can really see um, in that um, here, yeah, yeah, you can you can see it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can you can hear the difference in the um, the treble in that one. And the other thing you'll notice is that when you activate the um, the filter by pressing the hotkey, you actually get a on-screen display showing you the filter that's being applied and then when you toggle it off again um, it'll say like audio filters empty or something let's so now go into the lowered treble Do technical problem <laughs> nothing wrong with the radio must have been a station which row is in so you can see as you deactivate it will say audio filters empty um so what i'm going to do now is move on to the high pass which is uh cutting out low frequency you would gotten up earlier oh look i already lost an hour's sleep on the time change i think you complain just um, in some of these, it may be difficult to actually find something where uh, you can really notice the difference. You've actually got to find something with low, low bass. So what I'll try doing is going back to the beginning of the video, um, which is quite bassy. Okay, you can't really notice any difference with that. It was more um, an experiment to cut out um, low hums in some videos. So it's more um designed for you know if you're watching a video like maybe a tutorial and you can hear a fan in the background or something like that uh, you could use a high pass filter to try and knock that out so that's what i was experimenting with and maybe i just need to um, increase the, um, the threshold so what i'll do is i'll just go back through and come come here and go through and um, toggle these filters on and off one by one so what I'm going to do is go through these um, filters let me just switch back here and then okay so this is the config again F1 shows the, um, the filters we can apply then we've got loud norm we've got dire norm we've got lowered bass we've got low treble and we've got a high pass and these are just some examples that um, I've taken from that GitHub page. So what I'll do is I'll just go through those again, uh, one by one, uh, if I can find the window. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll start with the loud norm, dire norm, uh, lowered bass, high, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And as I go through these, you'll basically see, um, as I activate them, you'll see the filter being uh, the on-screen display showing the filter. And then when it's deactivated, it'll say filter's empty. They ought to make the day the time changes, the first day of summer. What? Well, it's 8 o'clock and it's still light. A lot of good the extra daylight does us. Now, we've still got a three-hour drive back. We're not going to be home until after midnight. Well, it really... So that was the loud norm. So you could see as I was um, activating it, the voices um, got a lot louder. We'll now go through the next one, which is the dire normal. Um, and I'll go through these filters in the um, the manual just so you can have a quick look at them and uh, have a look at the descriptions. Thank you, Johnny, you wouldn't do it. You think I want to blow Sunday on a scene like this? You know, I figure we're either going to have to move Mother out here or move the grave into Pittsburgh. She can't make a trip like this. Oh, no, that she can. Is there any of that candy left? No. Look at this thing. We okay, so that was the dire norm. And offhand, I can't remember exactly what that is, so I'll, say I'll cover that when I switch to the uh, FFmpeg documentation. And I'll move on to the next filter, which is um, the lowered bass. He still remember. I don't. You know, I don't even remember what the man looks like. Johnny, it takes you five minutes. Yeah, five minutes to put the wreath on it. So that's the lowered bass, so you can see... Um, a treble is a lot louder um, in their voices um, as opposed to when it's deactivated. So I'll just go through that again. Grave in six hours to drive back and forth. Mother wants to remember, so we trot 200 miles into the country and she stays at home. Well, we're here, John. So that's with it off. I know, right? Test. Back on. Oh. Uh, 
Ladies and hey, gentlemen, good. we're coming back. Okay, so that was the lowered bass. I'll go through the um, lowered treble. On the air after an interruption due to technical problem. Ladies. Back on. Oh. Uh, ladies and hey, gentlemen, good. we're coming back on the air. So that's um, the lowered treble. Let's try it with um, this section again. Back on. Oh. Uh, ladies and hey, gentlemen. Good. Coming back on the we'll back on. Oh. Uh, ladies and hey, gentlemen, good. we're coming back on the air after an interruption due to technical problem. Uh, technical problem. Ladies said, and hey, gentlemen, good. we're coming back on the air after an interruption due to technical problem. Ladies and hey, gentlemen, good. we're coming back on the air after an interruption due to technical problem. You can't really hear the difference with the um the high pass, the final one, but you could really hear some difference with the loud norm, especially um, the dire norm, um, the lowered bass and the lowered treble. So what I'll do is I'll quit MPV there and switch back to this section here. So if we come back up to the top, um, it's actually got a list of all the filters. So we're looking for the um, dire norm. E, where is it? There we go. Dynamic audio normalizer applies a certain amount of gain to the input audio to bring it to peak magnitude. So these are the options that you can actually use in that. Um, and you may um, have to do a bit of searching to um, find some, some, some more information about that, um, you know, some blog posts or something. Um, then what we've got is um, the loud norm. So if I just come back up to the top and then we search for the um, the loud norm. I'll say, okay. I should really just do a search. There we go, loud norm. Uh, EBU8, EBU R128 loudness normalization includes both dynamic and linear normalization modes. So this basically will um, sort of set the audio to a certain level. So as I said, things like YouTube or certain sites or broadcast things, they have a certain level the audio is broadcast. And what you can do is use this filter to normalize the audio to that level. And then finally, we've got the um, super equalizer. So if I just do super equalizer, there we go. Apply 18 band equalizer, um, the filter accepts the following options. So these are the actual options that you can um, set. And if I just switch back to uh, my Emacs config. So what you can see is some of these are uh, activated differently than others. So you can see here the loud norm and the uh, dire ord norm. Um, actually have a different syntax than the super equalizer so for these ones what you've got is lavi fi equals and then in sort of uh, brackets the actual command here whereas the one for the super equalizer is just in double quotes and then it's super equalizer equals and then as you can see what i was talking about is it's not easy to work out the actual frequencies and stuff like that um or the equalizer so you're going to need to do some research on that and do a bit of reading up um all these different commands and all how these actually work and you know <coughs> have a little play around with them but that's basically what you can do is you, you can put um keyboard shortcuts in your mpv input config file and then toggle those audio filters on and off um, to actually cut out noise, boost stuff, you know, cut out the treble or the bass, that sort of thing. So if I just switch back here, what I'll do is I'll actually come across to Big Buck Bunny and I'll copy the link there and I'm going to play that with M this with MPV. And um, one thing I wanted to show you is there's actually a slight difference when you're using these to play a remote file. There is a sort of a bit of a lag when you apply the filters and, and then turn them off again.
So I'll give it a second, this should play. Eventually. Okay, so what I'll do is um, play some listen and go through the filters again so you can just see how it affects um, this video as well um, and how it works with a video that's opened over the network as opposed to a local file. So I'll just go through and play these normally. And again, F1 will actually show the options there. Okay, you can see, is that, so that was the loud Normans. You can see there's a slight sort of stutter as it stops and applying the filter. So I'll play that one again, as you can see how it raises the audio levels. So this is with no um, filter. Let's see if I can go. So you're getting... See again. Uh, so that was a dire normal. I think this is the... Oh, fuck's sake. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. So lowered base. That's lowered treble, so it's more bassy. Can't hear anything with a high pass really. So again, loud norm. No loud norm. Dire norm. Okay, lowered bass. And next one, lowered treble. Okay, so that's basically um, a demo of all of those audio filters with both a local file and a remote file to show you. It will work with both of them, but there's actually a slight delay uh, when using a remote file with the audio filters. So again, in the MPV documentation, you search for equalizer and you just get this section, which kind of leads you to think there's no you know, audio equalizers because this isn't a graphic program like MPV with a nice graphical equalizer. And having a look at the um, MPV issues led me to this um, post by Victoria Stewart over here, who um, obviously <laughs> knows a thing or two next to these in molecular, ge whatever, um, Germanonic, oh, sorry, I can't read over my mic, a machine learning, all that kind of business. So you know, knows what she's on about. It's come up with a little graph um, to actually plot these things out um, for the super equalizer for all the frequencies. And again, has come up with um, some stuff down here. There was one, uh, I tried this one down here, the sinu, sinusoidal, um, and that sounded terrible. <laughs> so um, a lot of these commands, uh, you'd try them and they'll sound absolutely dreadful. Um, so you're really going to have to experiment. And again, there's several ways you can do this. What you can do is you can actually apply these on the command line. So if it, I'll put a link to it, all this, but basically you can run a, a, um, 
this is an uh, M player example here, but what you, it's exactly the same with MPV. You can just um, run MPV, MPV with dash AF and then the actual command. Uh, you may need to quote these um, in single quotes, um, the actual super equalizer, and um, so it doesn't get expanded by the shell. But you can apply these filters on the command line so you can actually test them out more quickly. Or you can actually put them in your um, mpv.comp file, um, and this will set them globally. So if you wanted to set an equalizer globally, you can do that, or you can actually apply it to a just a specific profile you can create a profile for you know rock or hip-hop or whatever and have the different equalizers in there and then what you can do is switch profiles with mpv you can run mpv with different profiles so you could run MP mpv with the, the rock profile with that um uh, equalizer setting but the third way is actually what we're doing here is actually setting the audio filters as keyboard shortcuts we can toggle on and off which is far better in my opinion um so this is the sort of little section down here and again th these were some other um equalizer settings i tried them and i didn't really like them um but these were the the ones i um i pinched shamelessly um and you know you may need to go through and adjust these values have, have a look at the, um, the manual um, to see what all this means but that basically this will allow you to apply um, audio equalizers um, to mpv and uh, do it on the fly um, just by pressing keyboard shortcuts and you can define your own keyboard shortcuts but it seems um, the f keys aren't taken um by mpv i don't think so they might be a good choice but you can play around and use whatever you want so i'll put links to all this under the video um it's just something that's been bothering me for a while with mpv um not having a equalizer um and using ffmpeg filters is a really nice um you know a nice option as i say mpv uses um, FFmpeg in, uh, as the back end and the one issue that I did come across was that you can't chain multiple filters together um, I don't think so you can't for instance apply a low pass and a high pass filter together um, you can only apply those um, separately uh, with separate keyboard shortcuts but you can use things like the super equalizer um, loud norm so these are all the FFmpeg audio filters. So we've got like um, compressors, um, which is quite useful. So you can actually um, compress the audio, um, you know, make it sound louder. Um, a lot of these you're not going to um, won't be applicable to this. Then you know things for fading that kind of thing. Um, but you've got several equalizers in here. Um, you just go through and have a look at all this. Um, all these filters here so best bet is to come across have a read through the audio filters and see which ones you can actually use i think they mentioned somewhere um there was something mentioning uh in this which yeah okay most filters have been moved to um lib av filter so they're not documented in mpb zone manual see filters here so this is from like four years ago um which i you know i just obviously missed you know not having read the mpv's issues um section but this is why the the filters aren't documented in mpv's manual is because um it's basically using ffmpeg in the back end and these are basically ffmpeg filters that you can apply and obviously they're not you know it's not that user friendly um trying to work out um these long commands that's probably why they're not included uh but that's the reason why uh when you search in the mpv documentation that you don't find anything for equalizers is because um you know it's actually in the ffmpeg documentation you're going to have a look at 
and this is you know the section you can go through here so you can use compressors and all the different filters um but there may be some that don't work and there may be some uh kind of weird things like you can't chain multiple filters together that sort of thing but i'll put links to all this under the video so i hope this helps out and um makes using mpv as a player a bit more bearable and um you know it, it might make some videos that you watch um a bit more easy to watch if the audio is too low or high you can normalize the audio you know cut out the high pitch or the you know the low rumble from the videos just using equalizers that you can apply with a simple keyboard shortcut so that's all for now and um hope that helps out and um once again um uh that's the person you've got to thank victoria stewart um who made this excellent um note of everything down here i'll put a direct link to um, this section um in the issue uh, but as you can see it's actually plotted out all the frequencies um on the graph and actually come up with some nice commands so you can take these as a basis to um, play around with because um if you read through this document um, this page here you'll actually see there's not a lot out there about this so it's actually quite difficult to um find information about this sort of thing uh stack overflow may be a good um place to hit up um also reddit um to see if they've got any ffmpeg commands um that you can actually try out and again you can try them out on the command line once you've got them working you can just put them in your input.conf and then activate them with a keyboard shortcut so i hope that helps and um makes using mpv a bit more usable compared to things that you know are a bit easier to use with a gui so i'll put link, all these links under the video and that's all for now